Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to show you how to build a survival starter house in four different styles. Medieval, Desert, Oriental and Modern. First up we have the medieval house and here is a full list of resources for the build. So at the top here we have our dark oak wood as well as our regular oak wood and then below that we have all of the spruce variants that we're going to be using. And the rest of the blocks are simply just the miscellaneous items that we're going to be placing on the inside. These three cornflowers simply represent any type of flower. So here's the layout of the build, 5 by 7 blocks, and what we want to do to start off with here is place 4 barrels down on all 4 of the corners, and then we can also just place our spruce door down at the bottom in the centre there just to mark the entrance to the build. Next up, you're going to grab your strip dark oak logs and on top of these barrels here, make sure you're crouching when you click on this, but you want one, two and three of those logs as a pillar. And then on these two blocks outside of the barrel, so not the ones on the inside of the build, on the outside, we want two more logs with two spruce stairs on top of them. This can then be repeated for the other three corners. Keeping with the strip dark oak log, you then want to have some horizontal pillars going from the top of each of those blocks all the way around until you reach all four corners. Next up, you can come around to the back of the build here and place in an upside down spruce stair on those two top pillar blocks with another regular stair coming out of the back of it like so. On top of the upside down stair, we can have a full spruce plank with a spruce stair on top of it and then two more upside down stairs. We're going to have two more full planks and two more stairs and then we're going to have an upside down one in the centre here just to make this roof outline shape. We can then come up to the top point here and have a regular stair with an upside down one coming off the front of it. And then we can actually come up to these stairs here and place in a spruce trap door. So just make sure you are clicking on the stair, not the spruce plank above it, because that is where we want to have a spruce slab. We can then also have a spruce slab here next to the trap doors with a trap door on top of that center slab. This shape can also be copied round to the front of the build as well. Once you have the outline for the back and the front of the build all done, we're then going to come to the two sides here and next to these stairs we're going to have an upside down one on both of those and then a line of five spruce slabs in the middle connecting nicely to the stair there. And on top of those blocks we're going to have seven spruce trap doors and you can also do it around this side too as I've already done here. But then we're going to quickly hop up to the top and have one, two and three spruce stairs from each of those top blocks and then we're just going to have a full plank or two slabs in the middle. So that is the roof outline all done. What we can do now is grab our dark oak planks and stairs and basically where we have a spruce plank we're going to have a line of dark oak planks and where we have a spruce stair we're going to have a line of dark oak stairs and you want to do this for both of the sides. The very final thing to do with the roof, now you've got all of that filled in, is actually just flick up one, two and three of these trap doors. Just to add a little bit of extra detail. So four of them are laid flat and one, two and three are upright against the dark oak planks. Now you just want to step inside of the build here and what we're going to do either side of these barrels here is place in two oak stairs facing inwards. So as you can see we can still access a quarter of the barrel here which is going to be very helpful when we move on in the inside and do the interior. But once you got all of that done for all four barrels we can then move round to the back of the build here. And what we want to do above these two stairs here is have two oak planks like so with a regular oak stair in the middle and an upside upside down one at the top. We're going to go ahead and put an oak trap door in the middle here as a window with two spruce trap doors either side of it as some shutters. We can then move up to the top level here and just have three dark oak logs in the middle and then two oak planks either side of it. So that's what the back looks like. Moving on round to the front side here we can do the same as what we did at the back for the top section so three dark oak logs in the center and four oak planks on the sides. What we can then do is move down to our spruce door here and we just want to line these five blocks with some more oak planks and then we're going to have two spruce fences either side of the doorway with a line of slabs going across the top. Now that the front of the build is all done we can then move round to the right hand side here and next to our two backward facing stairs 
this, we're going to have two forward facing stairs with an oak trap door on top of both of those. We can then have two oak planks in the middle here, two on the sides, and then three more across the top, just filling all of that in. We can then grab some spruce fence gates and crouch and place them in front of the oak trap doors. Go ahead and flick them open and just place in a spruce trap door above them. And now moving around to the final side, which is the left hand one over here. And we're going to place in two oak planks on top of our two oak stairs with three more at the top. And then we actually need to just hop inside for this part and place in our crafting table in the center with two furnaces either side of it. And then just crouch and place in three oak trap doors like so and go ahead and flick them all up. We've done that first because we actually want to make a flower bed out the front here. So we're just going to go ahead and place in three dirt blocks which will eventually grow into grass but you can always use coarse dirt if you want it's a bit of a nicer texture for flower beds but we're going to go ahead and place in an upside down spruce stair on the side of those two blocks with two spruce fences above them and then a spruce slab on top of both of those and then go up by half a block and place in three more in the center here and then we can cover the front of this up with three spruce trap doors and of course place in three flowers of your choosing. And that is now the exterior of the build all done. We can head inside and start working here. And it's awfully dark at the moment, so the first thing we're going to do, just to the right of this furnace here, in the back left corner, place in a spruce fence with a lantern on top. That should light it up nicely. But what we're going to do now is basically break all of the grass blocks on the floor here, including our doorway, which will pop up temporarily, but that's okay. And we're basically going to make a floor combination of andesite and cobble stone so pretty much place in all of your cobblestone in a random pattern not really thinking too much about it and then go ahead and fill the rest in with andesite just add in a little bit of extra texture and of course replace your door next up on the right hand side of the build here so opposite to the crafting table we're going to have a spruce stair here to start a staircase that will lead up to the second floor so you basically just want to place a stair with an upside down one out the back until you eventually reach this corner over here where we can then line the rest of the floor here with some spruce slabs as well as one more in the corner here so there should be one two and three blocks missing so you can actually use the staircase if you place one here you gotta crouch and it's not awfully convenient but now what we can do is sort out the ceiling to the top floor here and we're gonna have some dark oak upside down stairs here on either side just like that and then we want to place in our spruce trap doors now make sure you have this top block highlighted not the one underneath because that is where we want to place our spruce trap doors and you'll know that you've done this right because you should be able to place a lantern in the center here. If you can't then you just need to raise the trap doors a little bit and make sure they're not on that block right there. Now time to add in the rest of the furnishings, which is basically a bed as well as storage. We already have our furnaces and crafting table in the middle here, and we also have access to all four barrels in all four corners, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit more. So we're going to have a single chest here underneath the staircase, and that is the bottom floor all done. We can then hop up here and on this block have a single chest and turn it into a double. And beside that is where we can have our bed. Any color is absolutely fine, of course. But then just in the opposite corner over here, we're going to have a barrel with a chest beside it and a chest on top. And so that is the medieval starter house all done. We're now ready to move on to the desert variant. And once again, here are all of your resources for that build. Of course, we're going to be using lots of sandstone, which is why we have all of these variants along the top here. But we're also going to use spruce wood as our main wood type as the other main building block. And then, of course, we have all of our miscellaneous items along the bottom here. So once again, here is the layout of the main building. We have a five by five here and we're going to start off by placing a cut sandstone block on all four of the corners. Next up, you're going to keep some cut sandstone in your hand and decide on which one of these sides you want to be the front. The doorway is going to be going just to the right of it, so this is going to be the front of the build and the doorway will be going around about here. But what we need to do on these front two blocks, bring them up by an extra one, two, three and four for a total of five blocks, just like that. But these back two here, we want to bring them up by seven blocks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven for a course a total of eight 
Next up, we're going to add in three cut sandstone at the front here to connect those two pillars, and then we're also going to connect them to the back by adding three more to the sides. We'll leave the back open for now, but what you can actually do on the two sides here is come to the center block and add in one, two, and three more so that they are then level with the pillars just beside it here, the ones at the back. And then we can also add one more cut sandstone here on the two sides. Let's just take a quick step back and show you how it's looking at the moment and then what we can do around the front here is have a cut sandstone either side with a chiseled one in the center the one with the creeper face on and then we can also do that around the back as well so cut cut and then a chiseled now we pretty much want to turn this into something that resembles a sand castle a little bit more so we're going to come to the front of the build here and grab our cut sandstone slabs and add in three along the front just like this and then underneath all of those slabs we want to place in a spruce button so that's going to be two on the corners and then another one here in the center getting a bit more of that sand castle shape we're going to go up to the top here and basically do the same thing so once again cut sandstone slab on the four corners like this this and then another two on top of the chiseled blocks and then we can also go ahead and add in our spruce buttons on all of the corners two of them on each and then one more just underneath those two slabs and in front of the creeper face now we can move on round to the back of the build here on this taller section and we're going to start off with our smooth sandstone and place in five blocks either side of our cut sandstone pillars and then we want to have a smooth sandstone stair in the center with an upside down one at the top leaving us three spaces in the middle here for some spruce fences and then we can also go ahead and place in three spruce trap doors as some shutters either side of it and then we just want to hop up to this six block section right here and we're going to have a smooth sandstone stair on the bottom blocks with two upside down on top just to make this bit of a plush shape as an open window design as for around the front of the build here on this four by three section we're going to have four smooth sandstone in the middle here with two upside down stairs at the bottom and then we're going to have two stairs facing inwards upside down at the top there just to make this shape and then what we can actually do is come around to the back of that and place in three spruce trap doors and then we can flick them all downwards just to cover it up and as you can see around the front does that very nicely and in front of them we're just going to place two flower pots with something to go inside of them. Moving on round to the left hand side here opposite to where our doorway is going to be going we're going to have four smooth sandstone here in the center with two upside down stairs at the top and two regular stairs at the bottom and in these four gaps we can just go ahead and place in some fences and what you can actually do while you still got the fences go ahead and place two more here just above it as well as on the other side here just like that and while you're up here you may as well go ahead and place in three smooth stone slabs along this top section here so as you can see underneath it's pretty seamless so as I said the right hand side of the build is where our entrance is going to be and we're going to go ahead and place three smooth sandstone along the bottom row like that and on this block is where our doorway can go just on the other side of the trap doors but then in front of it we're going to go ahead and place another sandstone with one more right here and then a smooth sandstone stair in front of it we can then have one, two, and three upside down stairs like that, and then two more here round the back. We're then going to hop up here and just next to the doorway have two more sandstone with a stair facing this way and another one here with two more sandstone on top to make ourselves a little bit of an open window. We can then have another stair just above our spruce doorway here. And then just to the right of our doorway here, we're going to have three spruce fences next to the cut sandstone. And then we're going to have a line of four more fences going along our upside down stairs. And then we can just have one more fence on top of all of them. So all of these are too high with the exception of this one right here. And we're going to start off with two spruce stairs on those two blocks, then change over to two spruce slabs and then go up by half a block here and have two more slabs, then up by another half a block and have another two slabs. And finally, we're just going to have a spruce trap door on that block. And then very finally, we're going to have a lantern just in this spot right here in front of our doorway. 
Now we can actually head inside the build and the first thing we're going to do is place a smooth sandstone stair just in front of our doorway with another one bent round to the right hand side. So make sure you're placing it on the side, not in front. You want that little bit of curvature. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our five ladders and place them all on these blocks right here, going all the way up to that spot right there. So just in front of the doorway on this left hand side. And we can actually go ahead and climb this ladder and place in three spruce slabs just in front and above, I should say, our spruce trap doors. We can have another one here on this block just to the left, and then half a block above our spruce door, we're gonna have two more, and then we're gonna have another two spruce slabs right there. So this is the floor to the second level up here. And then very finally, we're just gonna go ahead and put a lantern on this spot right here to provide a nice little bit of lighting. The very final thing to do, of course, is to add all of our storage, sleeping arrangements, and smelting furnaces. So the first thing we're going to do, just in front of this ladder here, is actually break these four blocks and dig down by another two, just like this. We can actually hop into this hole right here and place in four barrels upside down so that if we just break our way back up to the surface after filling all of this in so we don't get any mob spawning, you can see this is the underside barrel texture, which looks really, really nice and is still accessible for all of your items. Next up, we can go ahead and place our crafting table just in the corner over there with two furnaces beside it and another chest for excess storage on top of that central furnace. And the final thing to do is just climb up our ladder here and place our bed down in that spot right there. There is actually one final thing to add in, which is a lantern on this spot right here so that we don't get any mob spawning right inside of our home. That would not be very good. And that is the desert house all done. Time to move on to our oriental starter house. And once again, here are all of the items we're gonna be using for this build. At the top, we have all of our dark oak variants. And then just below that, we have all of our jungle variants, which some of you may not have access to. There may not be a jungle biome nearby. So if you don't have access to jungle, I'd maybe recommend replacing it with oak or possibly spruce. But just below that, on the bottom level here, we have a couple of oak products as well as some spruce trap doors and then all of our miscellaneous items, barrels, chests, furnaces, that sort of thing. Once again, here is the layout for the build. We have a 7x5 area this time, and the first thing we're going to do is place some dark oak logs on top of all of the light blue blocks here. So once you've got those logs placed down, we can then go ahead and put down our door, which is going to be going in the middle of these two blocks here. So this is going to be the front of the build. Go ahead and place your oak door on the back of that block. And now what we can do is grab our dark oak logs again, and these three on both of the sides can be brought up by two more blocks for a total of three, just like that. And we are then left with these four remaining logs. All of those can be brought up by one more log, and then what we need to do is just place a temporary block here and have a horizontal line of logs going across the top of both of those. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and grab your barrels and on these two spots here, just either side of our doorway, we're going to have two horizontal barrels, so you need to be facing the side here and then place them down like that and then we can actually open up our door and do the same on the back as well. And then what we can do is grab our oak trap door and crouch and place a trap door on the barrel and flick it up as a window. We can do that round the back as well, of course, to give ourselves four windows in total. And then we can move over to the two sides here and grab our jungle blocks. Two planks above those two spots right there with two stairs on the bottom and then two trap doors as some more windows. We can then very quickly do that round this side as well. And then lastly, we have one more window to fill in, which is this spot right here. And we're just going to have a jungle stair with a jungle trap door. Now we're going to go ahead and just hop on top of this structure right here. And we're going to place some dark oak planks on top of these two barrels here. And on top of those, we're going to have some dark oak stairs with an upside down one coming off the back of it. Same again over on this side. Two more dark oak stairs with an upside down one here in the center. And we can very quickly copy this round on the back as well. So two planks on top of the barrels and then just staircase our way up until they eventually do meet in the middle like so. And then what we can do is go ahead and place in two dark oak stairs so that the back is facing outwards like this with a dark oak slab just on the front. 
Same again on this side, of course. And then we're going to go ahead and place a temporary block with a dark oak slab here in the center. And then from this point, looking at the slab, we're going to place in a stair here and one more over on this side. So that is a part of the roof outline all done. Next up, go ahead and grab your jungle plank stairs and slabs, and we're going to have two slabs on top of both of these dark oak logs. Doesn't matter which side you're picking here, because it's both going to be the same. But then just next to those slabs on top of the planks, we're going to have two jungle stairs facing outwards, and then we can go ahead and have a full plank here and here next to the dark oak planks. And then we can go ahead and line the top of them with some jungle stairs and put a jungle slab in front of this stair right here. And finally, just three more stairs along the top. You can copy this to the other side as well. We're going to go ahead and use up the rest of our jungle wood here. And we're going to basically be filling in these two gaps right here. So what we need to do is just open up our doorway and step inside for the first part. And we're going to have a jungle stair here to cover up that hole as well as one more above it. And then same again on this side as well as a single jungle plank at the top there. And now what we need to do just behind these dark oak stairs here have two jungle planks coming down like so on the front and the back. And then lastly we're going to have two jungle slabs here and here. But for the next step we actually need to head outside and have an upside down jungle stair on that top spot which as you can see makes a nice little window. This isn't looking great at the moment, let's be honest, and it's actually because it's missing one very important thing, which is another dark oak wood outline. So we're going to come to the front of the house here to start this off, and just in front of this top barrel here, we're going to have a dark oak stair upside down, and as you can see, it's facing outwards. We can then grab two more stairs and have them just next to these two jungle slabs, and then we're going to grab some dark oak slabs and have one on top of the upside down stair and one more off the back of this one. Same again over on this side and then we can grab two more slabs and have them just behind the back of those upside down stairs and then we can switch over to our dark oak trap doors and have one on top of both of the slabs and then one more right here. So make sure it's slightly lower than the other trap doors and not in line with them because we actually need to place a dark oak slab on top of it. And yes my trap doors do look a little bit different it's just a custom resource pack of mine and I've changed the texture of it. But you or should look basically the same. So once you've got this done, you then need to copy it around the back as I've already done here. Now we can move around to the left and right hand sides and basically we just want to grab our dark oak stairs and slabs and we're going to have a dark oak stair facing inwards next to those two jungle slabs and then we're going to have a slab next to both of those with another one underneath it and then finally a dark oak stair in the middle. So this is what the two sides look like and of course you can do that for both of them here to complete the roof outline and that is looking a whole lot better. There are just a couple of additions that need to be made before the exterior is all done and we actually need to come to the corners of the build to do this and on this bottom level here we're going to have two dark oak signs and then if we just look up to the bottom of these two stair blocks we're going to have two buttons. I like to make sure they're kind of facing the same way and they're not like that for instance just to add to the symmetry of the build and then on top of this stair block we actually need to have another dark oak trap door and of course we can do this for the other three corners. And once you've got all of those blocks placed down, the very final thing to do is place a lantern here as well as round the back in the same spot. So now we are ready to head inside and the first thing we're going to do is actually line the underneath of these jungle blocks right here with some spruce trap doors making sure they're all facing the same way and you don't have one that's like that otherwise it ruins the connected texture of the trap doors and now we can go ahead and get rid of all of the blocks on the floor here and we're actually going to be using some dark oak stripped logs and what we're going to do here instead of just placing them all down in a pattern like that we're going to do something a little bit different so on this middle row here we're just going to have them all facing forwards as well as on the two sides like this and then just to change it up a little bit these two in the middle can be facing the other way so it makes a bit of a different pattern to just placing them all in the same direction. 
and now all that's left to do is to furnish the inside here but it's awfully dark at the moment so let's start off with a lantern on this top spot right there and now what we need to do on either of the two sides doesn't really matter we're gonna have ourselves a bed with two chests either side of it and on the opposite side we're gonna have a crafting table with two furnaces either side and that is our oriental home, the third starter house of today's video all done. Meaning we can move on to the fourth and final build, which is the modern starter home. And once again, here are all of the materials for the build. We start off here with some white concrete, which some people may say isn't exactly a starter material resource. I would disagree if it's in a small quantity like this. Getting a stack of concrete really isn't too difficult. It's just half a stack of sand and half a stack of gravel and then four dye. And you can get white dye from the lily of the valley flower. And then we have 21 smooth stone slabs as well as some regular glass and the light gray stained glass. The panes are included as well. We then have the stripped spruce wood and these are basically the variant of the stripped spruce log that have the same texture on all six sides and you get them by crafting four of the logs together in a crafting table. We then have the rest of our spruce variants as well as an oak trap door here and then at the bottom we have all of our miscellaneous items and as I've said before in the video these three corn flowers just represent any flowers of your choosing. The size of this build is four by six blocks and the very first thing we're going to do just behind that gray block right there we're going to break the block on the floor and replace it with a furnace and put our spruce door on top. That may seem a little bit weird at the moment but do bear with me it'll make sense later when we do the interior. On these three blocks right here just beside our spruce door we're going to go ahead and place in three white concrete as well as three on the back just opposite those and then you can place in three more in the middle here. We can then bring up this block, this block, this block and this block by five more blocks so there's one, two, three, four and five. And then you can go ahead and connect all of them. So there's one in the middle of these two and then three in the middle of these. And then we're actually going to do a two high line to connect those. That will make sense when we do the interior as well. But as you can see, we got a big window here and then two slim narrow ones in the middle as well as a skylight in the top. Now we're going to place in the remainder of our white concrete and we're going to start off with three here starting just above our spruce door going all the way to this corner. We can then leave a gap of one upwards and then place in three more and then we can also have two more just underneath those white concrete to connect them and then we can turn around to the side here and from this block we're going to have three going all the way across and then have three more going across on that top row. And then from this corner, we're going to have a row going all the way up until they meet right here. And then lastly, we're just going to have one and two more blocks. So the back of the build looks like this, the side looks like this, and then the front looks like this. And you've already seen the other side here. Now we can just go ahead and hop on top of the build here and we basically just want to put some smooth stone slabs on top of all of the white concrete here. So just that U shape there for the bottom section and for the top section here we just want to make this ring around. And for these three blocks here these are going to become regular glass blocks but for these six blocks they're going to become the stained grey glass blocks and those are our skylights added in. Now we can go ahead and add in the pane version. So we're going to start off here with the light gray and we're basically going to wrap these all the way around on that little segment right there as well as round the back of the build here on these two spots right here. We can then switch over to our regular glass pane and we're going to put them all on these narrow sections, those four high blocks as well as filling in the rest of this with the same regular glass panes just to make a nice big window. We're actually going to come inside for this next part and what we want to do is grab our strip spruce wood and we want to place these all on top of one another. So you want to be placing them on top of a block, not on the side of a block. Otherwise it kind of messes with the connected textures. So what we want to do is have two either side of our spruce door, again placing them on top of the blocks. We're then going to have one more here on the floor and then another two here and here and then a final two right here. So as you can see, that's looking nice and smooth and it's just going to help with doing the exterior walls. Just to the left of our spruce door here, we're going to have two spruce fences and then move around to the left hand side of the build and have four more like so. An upside down spruce stair in the center with a flower pot on top. 
We can then move around to the back of the build here and just underneath these glass panes have two upside down spruce stairs and then at the bottom here we can have coarse dirt or regular dirt whatever you got on hand just in front we can have some spruce trap doors to make a flower bed and of course you can go ahead and put some flowers on top of them as well as in the flower pots here. And then the very final thing to do for this section is just head inside and place in our oak trap door there to make a nice little window. And that is the exterior done. We're now ready to head inside and start work here. So the first thing we want to do in this back left corner is have a spruce stair like so. And then we're going to have an upside down one just to the side of it with a regular one here to reach the upper level of this cramped and cozy space. <laughs> and now what we need to do just next to this stair here, place a spruce trap door. And then we're going to have a crafting table in this back left corner and our bed can go right here. And then we can just line the rest of this with some spruce trap doors, making sure they're all facing the same way as this one. And you don't have one that's slightly off like that. So these will be a couple of pixels up from this first trap door. One block away from the crafting table, we're going to have ourselves a chest here. And then just below it on this block, we're going to have a barrel with another chest for all of our storage. We're also going to go ahead and crouch and place our lantern on top of the crafting table here. Not an awfully modern addition to the build. I would recommend an end rod maybe if you are really going for a modern style. But that's not going to be readily available for a starter house, I doubt it. And now finally, the last thing we have to do here is to complete our floor and this is where the furnace makes sense because we're actually going to be having our furnaces as the floor design here. Of course they are still usable, you may find it a bit difficult to see when they're done smelting but you should actually be able to tell because they will stop glowing. So may not be the best option but there is not a lot of space to work with inside of this house. And that, everybody, is the modern house all done, meaning all four are complete. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. And if you are building any of these in your survival world, send me some pictures on Twitter or in my Discord server. Both of the links are down in the description. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.